tonight we are introducing you to a wildlife photographer who is colorblind. Rick Lisi pursues his passion at his own wildlife sanctuary. He created it on his property in a subdivision in Loveland. Not on your side, photographer Scott Wagner shows us the man behind the lens. We have bluegill and crappie, catfish, bass. Come on, guys. Let's go. Snapping turtles that big. So it's got a lot of wildlife here. Come on, ducks. About 75 ducks. All started with two. Come on. No fighting. Love of wildlife started with my grandfather and uh, he was part Micmac Indian. So he would take me out in the forest and we'd talk about the birds and the plants and the butterflies. There's a deer right there. I always wave like this, that's what I do. And then they know it's me and they're not afraid. I think that's pretty cool. Being colorblind, I can't see the colors too well. So I have to listen to nature and, uh, and use whatever I can. And the birds are the best way. They tell me exactly where everything is. Now you hear that, those crows. Between them and the jays, they're going after a hawk. So when I get both of those calling, I listen to see if they come closer. If they're coming to a certain area, then I know that in that area there's either a hawk or there's an owl. That's a squirrel. I'd press, let go, and shoot. Let's see if I can get this owl. <laughs> we have this property now, and we've watched it grow over these years, planting a lot of shrubs, planting a lot of trees, so that there's a, a good habitat. So I have a lot of animals here, more than most of the parks have. If I could only get them to realize the life of a tree, the life of a plant, the life of an animal, that is a gift I would like to give to kids. It's far more of a gift than this thing ever was for Christmas. I've traveled around the world taking photographs and a lot of my photographs are in brochures and handouts and in magazines around the country. Uh, I've never sold any photos, uh, but I do give them freely to, uh, for educational purposes. I'm a teacher and that's where I am at heart and I just want to take people and, and teach them and get them to enjoy wildlife and nature as much as I do. But I don't really want to sell them. I don't want to get rich at it. I don't want to hate to use the term prostitute myself. I don't want people to think they can buy me. You can't. They're going to all fly at one time, and I have no idea how they tell each other, but when they do, they all just lift, and it's very exciting. Okay, they're teaming up. They're forming their teams. Anytime, you guys, anytime. There's the call. First sergeant starting to get ready. Here they go, here they go. The first fleet. Here comes the second fleet. <laughs> Just about that fast, they're all gone. There should be still places like this that are little gems that are around for animals to survive. So the kids today can see a raccoon, they can see a possum, they can see all the wildlife that can still live among people if we let them. So true. Mm. Not on your side, photographer Scott Wagner produced that piece. Rick Lisi is a retired teacher from Princeton City Schools. As you heard, he refuses to sell any of his work. He just wants to give it away to whomever mm. wants it. Wow. Amazing. He has such a great eye. You know, the truth is you just got to take a moment to observe it yeah. and see it. And observe I mean, it and then preserve it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. Beautiful mm -hmm. shots there. Got to mm -hmm. give him props to that. Absolutely.